Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I want to try this RCMA makeup palette. Now I've seen this palette on Tati's channel and she uses she does use it every time for contouring, for light foundation, with full coverage. She really love, love, love this palette. And of course, I finally got my hands on it because this is expensive. I think I paid around 63 or 64 dollars. I'm not really sure, but it's around over 60 dollars. And it's a small palette, but it looks very nice. And the shades look, they are going to match me. So I'm going to try this to use as my foundation, as my concealer, and as my contour bronzing um, product. So if you want to see how I'm going to use it and how it works for me, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I don't have anything on my face. Let me just remove my hair. I have plenty of dry shampoo. It's not working for me today. My hair, it's not really working for me. I'm going to use a primer and I'm going to use this gripping primer from Milk. I really like this primer, it's one of my favorite primers. And I'm going to use it today. I don't know if I'm going to use the brush or the sponge for this palette. I think I'm going to try first go in with the br brush and then if it doesn't work we are going to use a sponge. I'm also going to go in a little bit with my Tarte primer. First, I'm going to go in with this that I got from my friend Valerie, purple, and use it a little bit under my eyes. Let's use the finger to brighten it up a little bit. Mm. I like this. It does make a difference. Now I forgot to apply it on the this eye, so I'm trying to go in again. Well, like that. A little bit here. This spot. What do we have more? I'm going to use yellow here. Around the nose. Oh, I like this. This is very light. It feels like a primer. It feels oily, not oily, but creamy texture. It's very light, but when I go in with the finger and dab it in, it feels very, what to say, um, it dries down. We have some red here, I'm going to correct. I like this so far. I like that. I think I'm going to use this a lot. I like it a lot. Let's go in with this shade here under my eyes. They are creamy. Let's use a finger and dab it in, or dab it with a finger. It feels light. I like that. I like that. I like how it works with the finger. Um, I'm not mad about the brush either. Actually, I need to be honest. I'm not mad about the brush either. Let's see the sponge. Let's go in with the sponge. Well, it feels like the sponge removes a little bit of the product. So far, I really like how it works under my eyes. I'm going to, of course, go in with other shades to dark up everything, but I'm going to try to see if any of these three uh, matches my skin tone and use it as a foundation. This is the first one. That could work. Let's see the second one here. <clears throat> I like the, I'm going to mix these two. Let's go in and use it as a foundation. The first one here. I have another brush that I can go in with, but this is so small, so it feels like, I don't know. Oh, 
I'm going to blend everything in later. It's hard to go in with a bigger brush. I have a foundation brush here. Let's see. I really like how it goes in with the foundation brush. And dab it in a little bit. It's, it feels oily, but it doesn't, uh, when you touch it, but it doesn't feel oily when I apply it on the skin. I'm going to see how it's going to work with, um, with a sponge. Let's apply it with a sponge on this side. Well, it works with a sponge too. It works really nice with the sponge and with the brush. I feel like you get more coverage if you use a brush. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the small brush and apply a lot of this product, not a lot of it, a little bit more of this product. And I'm going to go with this big brush and just blend everything. I really like how this looks like my skin. I don't have like, it's not full, full coverage. It's buildable, but I still don't want to go in with uh, a lot of product right away because I want to build it up. I'm trying this product. I'm testing it out. Now I want to see, I want to contour and I think I want to go in with this shade here um, to contour my nose. in after trying that uh, tan tool from Huda Beauty the creamy bronzer I'm really into creamy bronzers right now and this looks to be a palette that I can travel with and use any color to bronze up my skin doesn't matter if I get uh, tan and then I want to go in with another shade to kind of bronze up everything. And let's go in with this shade here, a little bit around this. Blend these together. Let's see. I'm just mixing the shades. Let's go in and try blend this. I like the mirror in here. It's blending nice. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. Now I have oily T-zone, so I don't have dry skin. I also read on Beauty Bay that some people couldn't make this work for them. It was too much and it looked cakey. But that is why I really want, don't want to go in with a lot of the product immediately because I want it to look natural. It's what I'm asking for. I like that. It's blending very nice. I'm using the same brush that I used for the foundation, actually. Maybe that's a mistake, but we are here to make mistakes. I do. I feel like I need more coverage under my eyes. So I'm going to go in with um, the shade that we had before. So I did clean this brush a little bit and I'm going in to try to blend this. It's kind of hard. Let's And it with a sponge. I'm going to use this white shade and highlight the nose a little bit. I am going to set everything with some powder. I'm going to use an IKEA Joyce powder to set. See how it's going to look when we set everything. If it's going to start looking cakey or...
I mean, this looks like my skin. I don't know if you can see on camera. Now, I didn't use a lot to have full coverage. This is more like medium coverage right now. You can see, still see my discolorations. Uh, you can still see my... I could definitely use more coverage, but I won't use that because I'm trying out. And so far, far I'm really liking the product. I really am liking the product. Uh, it's very creamy. It feels like oil. It, they feel wet, but very easy to blend and very easy to build up. So I am liking this product so far. I'm going to finish. Uh, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, and also I'm going to use a bronze on top, of course. And when I do everything, I'll be back to tell you uh, at the end what I really think about this palette. So guys, I'm back. I applied the rest of my makeup. Now I did go in with some bronzer to set this creamy contour color. My skin looks flawless. It really looks flawless. And I think it doesn't look, it doesn't look heavy at all. It doesn't look like I have foundation or anything under it. Now it's not full, full coverage. I didn't go in heavy with this palette because I was scared that it's going to look Cake. I just want to apply a little bit, see how it's going to wear, and maybe go in later with more coverage, more product to have more coverage. But it looks like my skin, but better. Now, this makeup look you're going to see soon on my channel. I don't want to spoil uh, um, the surprise, what's on my face, but it, that video is coming if you're interested. But so far, this looks very good. I'm going to wear this makeup the whole day. Now, it's around 15, 30 p.m. So I'm going to wear this couple of hours just to see how it's going to wear and tell you what I think about it. But so far, I really, really like, like this palette. I'm surprised that I like it this much, but, but I am going to wear it a couple of hours just to see how it's going to wear on my only T-zone. So I see you in a couple of hours. Okay, guys. Hi. Sorry for my hair. It's look, it looks like a mess. I'm going to go and wash it now after removing my makeup. But let me take my, off my glasses and see it's 18 past, 18 past 8 uh, p.m. And I'll be having this palette or foundation on for at least five hours now and five, five hours, around five hours. And I have to say that I don't feel that I have makeup on. It feels very light, though I didn't apply too much. So I didn't have that full coverage. It looks nice. It doesn't look... Uh, oily it uh, my sorry guys but my um, mascara transformed or not transferred flaked let me just take off with a powder brush now now it looks more matte hmm. doesn't look cakey it doesn't look heavy it doesn't feel heavy it looks nice on the skin um i do like it i do like it i'm very surprised i didn't have thought that it would work this good because i was afraid that it's going to look too heavy on me but it doesn't. Uh, I really, really like it. I will definitely continue experimenting, try it out a little bit more, uh, maybe build up the coverage, see how it's going to last, but it didn't crease under my eyes, uh, maybe a little bit, just a little bit, but could be eyeshadow too. Uh, just a little bit under my eyes, as a but it does also with the regular concealer, so it's nothing that bothers me at all. Now, the um, foundation part is there, the bronzer or contouring part is still there. I really, really like it. I have to say, I really, really like it. So I think it's worth the money. I think it's a good palette, especially if you're a makeup artist, if you're someone that uh, has maybe used a lot of uh, maybe tanning products, so you are not always the same skin tone. I'm actually not always the same skin tone. I don't use a lot of... Um, bronzing products, but for some reason, my skin just be, gets lighter or a little bit deeper. Like when I first bought this Bondi Sway, Too Faced Bondi Sway foundation, it was the perfect match. Now it's a little bit darker after a month too, so that's strange. It's going to be messy, it's not going to look pretty bad after using it a couple of times, but I don't care. The product is good. Uh, I was scared that it's going to be too oily, but it's not. I like it. It's Didi approved. I like it. I definitely think you should check it out. I definitely think it's uh, worth to check it out. I think it's worth trying. And I think uh, I'm happy that I bought it. I'm happy that I bought it.
please let me know down below if you try this palette or are curious to try it. Uh, what would you use it for? This is my first impression after using it half a day, but I do like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. This is bothering me. So, and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.